All right, let's jump into the subnetting. Now, one of the things I need to get you to understand is a lot of times you're going to see the subnetting with a CIDR notation. In other words, this is a representation of how many bits are actually turned on in the subnet. Now, the IP address I used in the earlier video, which was 192.168.11.225, actually at that time had a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, which is a Class C default subnet mask. It's 24 bits turned on. The easiest way to write it out would have been a slash 24, saying that 24 subnet mask bits are turned on. Now, when we started using CIDR, this was so that we could actually use a different subnet mask in a different class, like class B using a class C subnet mask and so on. In this way, we were able to give out more IP addresses or use more subnet mask depending on how many IP addresses we had available. So once you learn that CIDR notation, like a slash 1 through a slash 8, that's the first 8 bits. So that's first octet. Well, the next octet, the second one, goes from a slash 9 through a slash 16. Remember, we're dealing with 8 bits, so 8 and 8 is 16. The third octet goes from a slash 17 to a slash 24. And, of course, the last one, which is a slash 25 through a slash 32, is the fourth octet. Now, remember what I've told you. We're going to lose two IP addresses, one to the network ID and one to the broadcast. So, slash 32, obviously, we're not going to use. That is used in access control lists, especially in firewalls. So, if you use a slash 32, it means that particular device. In other words, that server, that PC is either denied or allowed access and so on. Well, slash 31, we're not going to use because we're losing two IP addresses. Now, let's say we want to connect two routers together. The only thing we're going to need for those is an IP address for both routers. Well, a slash 30 is perfect for that because we lose the network ID, we lose the broadcast, and we have two IP addresses for the two routers. Okay. So the first problem I'm going to start out with is going to be a slash 29. In the meantime, I'm going to eliminate this chart, kind of make this thing a little bit bigger so it's easier to read, and we will move on from there. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, now what I, if you write this chart down, the easiest way to do is start at the bottom and work up. I know it by heart, so I work from bottom down or top down. Well, remember, there's 32 total bits. We're working in the fourth octet, so it's 25 through 32. So you could actually write down 25, 32, and then 32 means we got one IP address, and it doubles from there. So it goes 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128, okay? So here is an IP address. Don't ask me where I got the IP address. I'm just making these up so we can have a subnetting problem. What I need you to pay attention to is that slash 29. That slash 29, I always tell people it's a magic number, but really what it is is how many IP addresses we're going to have available to us. But we're going to lose two of those IP addresses. But still, we get eight IP addresses with a slash 29. Just pay attention to the number to the right of it. Well, what we need to do, we're worried about the 10. Because we're in the fourth octet, we want to find out what network that 10 belongs to. So the network ID obviously has to be lower than 10. And the next network ID is going to be higher than 10. So it's got to fall between those two. So the easiest way to start this is to do this. I always start at zero for the people that aren't good at math. And I will typically add, let's say, well, obviously, let's just go with dot eight, all right? So I'm going to add eight addresses. So the next one, when I come down, is going to be a dot eight. Well, 10 does not fall between zero and eight. So what are we going to do? We're going to add another eight and see where we fall then. Now, we're at dot 16. Well, 10 does fall between 8 and 16. Now, I got my goal post down here. That's what I call them. Because if it's outside the goal post, it doesn't belong in that subnet. Well, 16, these are all network IDs. The dot 16 is going to fall right out here. 
and the dot 8 is going to fall right in here. Well, the 10 is going to fall in this area. That's what we want. So if you go up here, and let's say our network ID obviously is going to be dot 8. Remember the rule. Network ID and then the first usable. First usable has to be one higher than the network ID. That's obviously a 9. And then I typically jump down to the broadcast. Makes it a little bit easier this way because the broadcast is always one less than the next network ID. Well, the next network ID is 16, so one less is 15. And then the next thing we look at, last usable. Last usable is one less than the next network ID, so it's a dot 14. So here we got network ID is even, broadcast is odd, there's eight IP addresses, only six are usable, all right? Down to the next, and I'm kind of staying with the same thing to make it uh, fairly simple, but as I produce other videos, which I'm going to start this week, as long as I get some uh, subscriptions, I will start pushing this out, and I will use different numbers, and it'll be something a little different every day, but it'll only be like maybe one or two problems. It won't be a whole bunch. So here we're going to work with another problem. Notice, still sticking with the same beginning, but where am I working to? I'm going with 58, but I'm talking about a slash 28. I look up here, slash 28 goes with 16 IP addresses. So I need to have something below 38, something above 38. Again, for the people who aren't good with math, this is the easiest way to do this, is just get put in dot zero and add in 16. So we go to the next one. And we know the next one now is 16. Well, 38 doesn't fall there, so we got to go up. And we're going to go up another 16 IP addresses. And now we're going to be at a 32. Well, 38 still does not fall between 16 and 32. So we know what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to add another 16. And now we're down to where we should be, because now we're down to 48 because 32 plus 16 is 48 and 38 falls between them. Well, we know 48 is outside the goalpost. We can't use it. It's the next network ID. This network ID is 32. Remember, we're working with network IDs. This is the easiest way to start this. So dot 32. Well, the 38 falls between here and there, so we're fine. So we know our network ID is a dot 32. The first usable is dot 33. And if you think you're starting to catch on to this, pause the video as soon as you see this, work it out, and then see, hey, did I get the right answer, and so on. Right, so I go down to the broadcast. I always find this easiest to teach people this way. So we look at the broadcast and we go, oh, it's one less than 48. So we need to go with 47. And we know, whoops. We know that our last usable should be one less than the broadcast. So we got a dot 46. Now I'm going to push out another video after this shortly, but hang on. We know that A, hey, network ID is even, broadcast is odd. We have 16 IP addresses, only 14 are usable. Right, so I'm going to continue on in the next video and we'll finish out this particular series.